I mean, I was God, but I wasn't really godding, you know? <laughs> I wasn't creating or destroying or judging anybody, Ian, which is something I always wanted to try. Then I thought, let me take a brief break from eternity and devote the better part of a week to creating a universe and, I don't know, just kind of see what happens. <laughs> And last time ever, I actually answered a prayer. Well, it was more of a question, really. Lord, why do bad things happen to good people? The answer to even out the good things that happen to bad people, duh. <laughs> of knowing everything, but can choose not to, which I usually do. I prefer to give myself knowledge on a need-to-know basis. Do you remember back in 1980 when everybody wanted to know who shot JR? Well, I am the Lord thy God, King of the Universe. I could have easily found out who shot JR. I could have attended the producers' meetings, got an advanced copy of the script, sat in on one of the table reads, but I didn't. I stayed deliberately ignorant until the night of the airing because I had Dallas fever. I was with Thomas Jefferson when he drafted the Declaration of Independence. He said, Lord. I said, yes. He said, is it okay that I write, all men are created equal, they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, among them life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? And I said, Tommy, how do you come up with this crap? <laughs> but whatever works. Look, there are over 200 nations on Earth, and every single one of them is under me, whether they say it in their pledge or not. So that's it. Go tell your money to trust someone else. I'm done blessing you. I admit, I have recently been enjoying dropping into the brains of certain right-wing politicians and telling them to run for president. <laughs> But that's not by way of blessing you, that's by way of amusing me. <laughs> I don't guide the ball between the uprights or into the basket or out of the stadium or into your opponent's crotch. Okay, you won the game, congratulations. Your Super Bowl MVP, Mazel Tov. World Cup champion, Gluckvinch. But leave me out of it, okay, because your piety or lack thereof, either as an athlete, a team, or a fan base, is meaningless to me. I don't influence the outcome of sporting events to affect the winner, are we clear? I only, on extremely rare occasions, influence the outcome of a sporting event to affect the spread. <laughs> but a lot of celebrities seem to think I do. I understand, I understand celebrities. That's why I said I had some ambivalence. You see, celebrities are my chosen people. <laughs> I know. The Jews are also my chosen people, but uh, there's a lot of overlap. 